So I was just backstage relaxing, as I usually do, with uh, Mario Brothers uh, theme music going through my head. So if you find me phasing out, uh, it doesn't help you much, but I'm at least entertained with the theme music in my head. So I'm Dave Martin. I've lived in Fort McMurray for the last 13 years with my wife and son. And uh, I teach. I'm transitioning right now uh, to teaching music at the uh, Keanu Conservatory of Music. I'm also a songwriter. And I'll just tell you a little bit about how I approach songwriting. I can't speak for all songwriters, but myself, I view myself as a photojournalist. So I take snapshots of the people around me, my family, my neighborhood, my friends, my community, and then I put it into song. I'll just uh, bring up one such occasion. Uh, I was at a conference with our grade sevens, and I heard this very inspiring story. There was a neighborhood with a neighborhood park in it, and one seven-year-old girl. And this uh, song really, or this story connected with me because my own son and I found value in neighborhood parks. My son has uh, had uh, delays, uh, developmental delays. So what we did was we'd walk far and wide all over the community finding neighborhood parks and playing on them. And the uh, people in this story, they didn't, have, didn't feel like they had access to the park in their neighborhood like my son and I did. And this is called Sarah's Song. What I, get, what I invite you to do is close your eyes and visualize snapshots of this story. And if you recognize the melody, I invite you to please sing along. Sarah was just seven, but she claiming things could only get worse. There are drugs being sold in the neighborhood park. Vandalism beatings shooting up after dark. Dirty needles broken glass. Garbage all over where there ought to be grass. Sarah found two plastic bags, a pair of gloves put on scrappy pants. She crossed the street, took a glance, she made up a simple song and dance. Bottles in one bag. Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag One day, two days Three days, four Sarah could be seen From everyone's door The adults, they would cluck The park looks no cleaner But Sarah would keep working Right through into dinner And by the seventh day, Sarah it made an impression on a neighborhood mother who 
guest a basic lesson. Mother found two plastic bags, a pair of gloves put on scrappy pants. She crossed the street, took a glance. She joined Sarah in a simple song and dance. Bottles in one bag, garbage in the other. Bottles in one bag, garbage in the other. The mother sang, bottles in one bag, garbage in the other. Bottles in one bag. Nine men, ten boys, eleven girls scores of mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters. They all found some plastic bags, a pair of gloves put on scrappy pants. They crossed the street, took a glance. They joined Sarah in a simple song and dance. Yep, they joined Sarah, just like you are right now. They joined Sarah in a simple song and dance. You know the melody. Bottles in one bag, garbage in the other. Bottles in one bag. Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag Garbage in the other Bottles in one bag Thank you. That was Sarah's song. Sarah's song could have been much like her neighborhood song. Could have been a bluesy song, a song of despair. But instead, her song was a song of hope, a song of community. And eventually, her community started singing the same song. Now I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to ask you. What's your song? Now I'm going to let you guys ponder about that for the next five or six minutes. Just absorb that, relax. And now I'm going to move into a more local story. This story is about a couple that lived by the Clearwater River. They lived by the Clearwater River because they had no house. They had no house, but they decided to build a home. And for this home, they crafted a sign, and it simply said, Welcome to our home. And I thought, wow, that sums that up really nicely. I'm going to have to put that in a song. And that's what I did. The song's called Welcome to Our Home. And it goes something like this. Southwest walls consist of conifer, a cardboard sign tacked on a jack pine. Welcome to our home. Even when it 
gets dirty below We'll make you tea Share our coffee The fire stays lit To keep our wits In a makeshift pit Welcome to Thirty, that's no problem. If you have a partner, you can share some body heat between the sheets, a cardboard sign tacked on a jack pine. If you're new to Fort McMurray, welcome to our home, our home. No matter how far you've traveled, welcome to our home, our home. Turn to your neighbor and say, welcome to our home, our home. Welcome to our home. Thank you. So again, this couple could have had a song about despair, but instead it was about hope, about home, about sharing. And so now, I'm giving it back to you. I'm going to ask you again, what's your song? What's your family's song? What's your community's song? So what I want you to do right now, giving you a lot of leeway here, is pull out your electronic devices, a piece of paper, a pen, and write down one word to begin your song. From that one word, you might want to write a sentence. You might want to write a verse or a chorus. What's your song? Please enjoy writing your song. Thank you.